Most of us are healthy carriers of one recessive hereditary disease or another. This is not a serious issue as long as our partner does not have a mutation in the same gene. When this happens, it is serious because our children will have a 25% chance of inheriting the disease and half of all babies born will be carriers. The latter will not suffer from the disease themselves, but they will pass it on to their children. The continuous research work carried out by Instituto Bernabeu means we can currently detect over 600 genetic diseases thanks to the, to the genetic compatibility testing, also known as genetic screening for recessive disorders. All that is required is a blood sample in order to analyze the diseases. Some, such as cystic fibrosis, various forms of paralysis, deafness, diabetes, muscular atrophy, and epilepsy have a particularly significant impact on the sufferer. Genetic diseases are responsible for 20% of infant deaths. This is why prevention is so important. Genetic compatibility testing is based on next generation DNA sequencing. The analysis tells us if a person has mutations in the genes which are responsible for certain recessive illnesses and linked to the X chromosome. Once detected, this information can be used in order to avoid transmission. Both the father and the mother need to do the test, since it is a combination of the mutations in both that can lead to a child being born with a genetic disease. At Instituto Bernabeu, GCT is carried out on all donors, both egg and sperm, as part of protocol, and it does not imply any additional cost for the recipient couple. This enables us to exclude donor candidates who are carriers of the 600 most common diseases. In order for the test to work, the partner providing the gamete also needs to undergo GCT in order for any matches with the donor to be ruled out, thus ensuring that the future baby is born healthy. We recommend carrying out the test when the couple is trying for a child, whether this be using natural means or when undergoing treatment, especially if one of them has a background of diseases in the family. It is also recommended when there is a blood relationship between the couple or in cases of assisted reproduction treatment using donor gametes.